And as silly as it sounds, you can also consider icing the testicles. 20 minutes, three times per day. You wrap an ice pack in a towel, right? no direct contact. You don't want frostbite on your testicles while you're trying to recover testicular function. This is something I did during my previous post psychotherapy, and it was able to raise my testosterone concentrations from approximately 450 to over 600 nanograms per deciliter. So it does work, albeit that it's convoluted and cumbersome protocol. It's something you can consider basically long story short of how it works for the guys that are familiar with sports injuries when you apply hot and cold therapy or let's say you have a bruised knee for example there's a lot of inflammation there you apply an ice pack for 30 minutes and then a hot pack for 30 minutes and then an ice pack and a hot pack this way you get to remove the inflammation and bring new nutrients to the knee allowing it to recover faster and get your mobility back and a similar sense this works in the icing the testicles protocol where you chill the area reducing inflammation and when you remove the ice pack, new blood flow goes to the testicles to heat it up, obviously, to its ideal temperature for spermatogenesis. But as the blood flow increases, it brings a lot of nutrients, which contribute to testosterone production and ultimately semen production as well. And this is a protocol you would need to see through for at least three to four months, because it takes such a long time for semen to be produced, mature, and be ready for ejaculation.